Hello traders, FS Pip Collector here. Today is Tuesday, April 30th, and I'm going to be analyzing gold versus the dollar, starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on gold versus the dollar, I'm definitely still looking at this as a 1, 2, 3, and most wave 3s do go to the 161.8% Fibonacci extension of wave 1, so I'm definitely still very bullish. I still think that gold has a long ways to go, and even when it does finish a wave 3, I think it needs to make a wave 4 and a wave 5 on the weekly and monthly time frame, which basically tells me that gold is probably not finished with its uptrend for many ways from six months to maybe even 18 months I think it will take for this trend to end. So going down to the weekly time frame, I mean, yeah, we definitely have been going down pretty strong, but I think this is a one, a two, then I think this is a subdivision, one, two, whoops, that's not drawn right, one, two, and we're currently in a wave three. So this is a one, two, three, and then we have a one, two, three. So that makes this a wave three of wave three. This move down right here, I think, is a wave four of the trend that started right here. Then it's probably going to go up for a wave five, maybe someplace around the 1440 or 1480 area. Then we'll probably make a bigger wave four, and then another wave five, eventually ending all the way up to that 1550 area. So, or the 2550 area. So taking it down to the daily time frame, I think it's very, very clear this is a 1, 2, 3. I think that we're currently in a wave 4. I think there's a very good likelihood this is going to go up for the wave 5. My next big area of resistance is actually probably... It probably needs to take out this high, so, you know, right around the 1440, 1450 area is probably my next big area of resistance. So, uh, yeah, the 2440 or 2450 area is what I meant by that. So in a way, it's going down to the four hour time frame. On the four hour time frame, I still think that I had this labeled as an ABC because that's what it looks like. But I still think there's a better chance that this right here is an ABC. It actually is extremely clear that it's three waves down, three waves up, and then five waves down. What still makes me think that this is going to make a higher low, higher low, and keep on trending up to make that wave five. I still think this is a wave four. I still think it needs to go up for a wave five. So taking it down to the one hour time frame, on the one hour time frame, I mean, we are definitely going down on the one hour and I definitely do not see any reason yet to say that this is over. And if this really is an ABC on the full hour, then it's actually more likely that it will just keep on going down. But if you are using the one hour, four hour as your roadmap, to trade the sort of time frames and you should technically be looking for sorts anyways. I think this is very clearly a one, two, three. If this is a four and it makes a five and then it goes up and breaks Strutzer, that's what will tell me that this is over. This looks like one, two, three waves down, one, two, three waves up and five waves down. It looks like a three, three, five pattern, which is basically a flat. So if it continues to respect this area, makes that three, four, five save, makes a break of Strutzer, then I would definitely get out of my sorts. I would definitely stop looking for sorts and I would go long for the continuation of this uptrend. So, I will also be live streaming for tomorrow's interest rate news, so definitely make sure you stop in for that. So, don't forget to join my free Discord channel, which is linked down here in the corner, and don't forget to check out my membership program that gives you access to the daily live training sessions, and it also gives you access to all my swing trade setups that I take at the time of entry, that I share with the members at the time of entry. You get all this by signing up at my website, fxpipcollector.com. As always, thank you and happy trading.